Hello and welcome back. I am Miss Biz, and we are trying to explore Southern Elsewhere for Let's Play Southern Elsewhere. I am still on the prologue quest. We've met up with Saisan, and it looks like we're still after a dragon horn. The journals we discovered in the Dragon God Sanctuaries point to one obvious conclusion. The Horn of Jadari exists, but was stolen by the dragon Valoxen. We must enter the dragon's lair in Southern Elsewhere and retrieve the horn. That happened so long ago. Can we be sure the dragon horn still exists? The journals indicated that the horn was indestructible. And Stendar knows that dragons are as close to immortal and unchanging as the earth and sky. Fate has placed the Horn of Jadari in our path for a purpose. I believe that with all my heart. Hmm. Were you able to determine the location of the dragon slayer? Despite its age, the map included with the journal clearly shows where we must go. A dormant volcano in southern elsewhere. I ask you, friend, will you make this journey with me? I'll accompany you to the Dragon Slayer, Sai. The horses will carry us to the nearest port. From there, we can charter a boat and sail to southern elsewhere. Oh, wow. Thanks to the map you found in Darkwater Temple, it should be easy enough to find Voloxen's lair. Before we depart, can we review what we learned at the Dragon Guard Sanctuaries? An excellent idea. Wisdom and reason are sharpened into focus every time we scrutinize the things we learned. What would you like to discuss? So, what's the significance of the Horn of Jadari? When Emperor Varin made me captain of his Dragon Guard, I swore to protect the Empire. With the return of the dragons, I knew I had to find a way to fight the beasts. Just like the Dragon Guard of old. The Horn of Jadari could be our best weapon. The horn is a weapon? It's a dragon horn of great power, nearly indestructible and able to replenish its innate magic. It has no equal. With the horn of Jadari, we have a chance to defeat the dragons of elsewhere. Without it, the dragons have a distinct advantage. Well, what do we know about this dragon's lair? The journal described a dormant volcano near the coast of southern elsewhere, though I suspect we'll find a cave or ruin nearby. Dragons prefer secure layers and aren't known to nest out in the open. Plus, it needs a place to hide the stolen horn. Okay, well, how do you think he managed to steal it? I never heard of Oloxen before we saw the name in the journal. The dragons are clever creatures. Besides, the Dragon Guard was dissolved around that time. In all likelihood, the sanctuary was abandoned, leaving the Horn of Jadari undefended. Are we truly prepared to face a dragon? What an unusual question. As I understand it, you've already faced a mighty dragon. After all, great deeds set the stage for great victories. It's true. I did battle the dragons, that guy in Marsalock, in those dungeons. And lived to tell such a glorious tale. I hear there were mighty battles both, filled with fearsome vampires and fiery destruction. You have proven yourself a worthy warrior, ready to hunt down the dragon for Luxen. But I had allies to aid me in that fight. Can we face the dragon with just the two of us? Regardless of the risks we face, we have a duty to Tamriel to retrieve this dragon horn. Besides, I assure you that I am well up to the task of hunting a dragon. I earned both my title of Blade Master and the rank of Captain of the Dragon Guard. <gasps> oh. All right, you convinced me. I'm ready to depart. Um. The dragon's lair should be nearby. Be on your guard, warrior. It's actually very nice here. Hear the birds singing. Oh, wow. That Kashiti ruin in the distance. Fine place for a dragon to nest. Wow, this, this place is pretty nice for anybody to make a nest. Like, once we get kick the dragon out, can I build myself a nice little vacation home? Oh, oh. didn't know if there were stairs Prepare there. Yourself, warrior. Who knows what awaits us in there? Okay. Nice front courtyard. Oh, this is quite pretty. Curious. Seems this place once served as a Kwama mine. 
Though it appears abandoned now. Oh, Flamma. I thought I was done with these people after I finished the EP story. Um, does it matter which way I go around? No, just pick one. So I'm gonna say the Dragon Guard didn't make it out. So people who are trained to fight dragons didn't make it out, but we're supposed to. The Dragon Guard who sought the horn of Jadari in ages past. May your light burn eternal, old warrior. So this guy like didn't even make it past the Kwama? And we're trying to be like these people? Come on. You see. Like the dragon god before you, death will be your only reward. The Wait, horn what? of Jadari? Is that the horn of Haloxan's brother? That's what it sounds like to me. Oh, well, that's interesting. Weren't all dragon horns made from dragon horns, though? These pitiful dragon guard found only death in the Hoxil's lair. Stay alert. I fear the beast lays a trap for us. Well, no doubt. So why is this dragon horn indestructible and the rest weren't? Okay. Oh, <gasps> there he is. The dragon's roar has stirred the quama. Defend yourself. Okay. The dragon needs better, uh, better trap than this. These quama are kind of weak. Dragon uses Kwama as a form of defense. How cowardly. Wouldn't you if you were living here? Oh, it's so Step pretty quickly. again. We don't want to be caught in the open. Okay, okay, I'm stepping quickly. I also don't want to use up all my stamina. <gasps> Do you see it? There was a dragon. Okay. Except scales. The drawbridge blocks our way. See if you can find any clue as to how to operate the pulleys. Okay, or I just maybe grapple across? I don't know. Oh! Uh, hi, dead dude. Canarthi flies overhead. Alkosh stands in glory. The main bows before their greatness. Um, okay. Canarthi flies overhead, Elkosh stands, main bows. Oh! I don't know what the symbols mean, though, because I'm that bad at, uh... So what is Canarthi? Canarthi has... Uh, has Khajiit. So, flies would be up top? Are there Khajiit in Canarthi's... Yeah, there are in Canarthi's roost, right? And then Alkosh. What is Alkosh? I don't understand. Ugh. I wish I wasn't 
so dense. And I wish I understood what the heck all these mean. Because I understand that, like, whatever is Canarthi needs to be all the way up. Elkosh needs to be in the middle. And the other one needs to be all the way down. But I don't know which way it is. And I obviously have it wrong. So... You're like an eagle thing, so I'll put you up top. That seems to make more sense. I'll put you guys in the middle. Because Alkosh, Alkosh has to do with like uh, Khajiit Kazama Larkaj. See? This is my. <laughs> how I figure shit out. This is terrible. No? I don't understand, Sai. Notice the pulleys? They should help us lower the drawbridge. Unfortunately, I'm not sure which combination of settings will open the way. See if you can find anything that could assist us. A dragon guard tried to lower the drawbridge. She left a note behind which contains a riddle. Tried to lower the drawbridge, you say? Well, that certainly doesn't bode well for us. Canarthi flies Tell over. Me the riddle. Mm -hmm. Canarthi flies overhead. Alkosh stands in glory. The main bows before their greatness. Hmm. Kinarthi is the Kajiti god of travel. So Kinarthi up. Not unlike Tava, the bird god. Alkosh is called Akatosh by most, the dragon god of time. And the main is a Kajiti spiritual leader. Okay, what do they have to do with the pulleys? Each pulley features an icon. A bird, an hourglass, or a Kajit. This riddle must hint toward where to position the two pulleys of each icon. Remember... Kanarthi flies overhead. Alkosh stands in glory. The main bows before their greatness. But I don't know which icon stands for what. Oh, thank goodness. Just ahead. All right, so if you're watching this video and wondering how the heck you do it, Hourglass is in the middle. Um, this, what I think is a Kajidi head, is at the bottom. And the bird is at the top. That is how you lower the drawbridge. All right, Sai. Uh, uh oh. Okay, so that's it. At last, the horn of Jadari. Now we finally have a chance against this dragon threat. All right, here, Sai. You should take it. Oh gosh. We have reclaimed the horn of Jadari. Why you gotta yell like that? A dragon's Beast horn. Who are Pity I don't share my brother's sentiment. Okay. What do you mean? Willingly given? Why? What? What's up with your brother? I'm going to blow the horn. Ow! Why is he half dead already? Is the fall? 8.9 million at half dead? Oh my goodness. You gotta be kidding me. Come on back, buddy. <gasps> this is going to be a long fight if you only go down that much at a time. Dragon's pellet, dragon's blood, and all this stuff. Sai, you okay? A moment, if you please. 
A battle against the Loxen left me quite exhausted. Return to the Abbey of Blades and let Pesura know what we succeeded. I will follow as soon as I can. Uh, okay. I can do that. Oh, I hope you're alright there, Sai. Oy vey. How do we head on back? Just, uh, on through here? Any chance there's gonna be a portal or a horse or something? That would be really nice. Maybe. Not not anything to loot, that's for sure. Okay, this is all really nice. Um How do I get back? Oh! Via this cart! Alright. Okay. Oh! Got all kinds of horses now. Kasura. It is good to see you hale and whole, warrior. But where is Sai? Did something happen? Sai is fine. We defeated Falcozin and retrieved the horn of J Jadari. I found the dragon horn. My leg is perfect, Blade. That is good news. Thank you, warrior. You did far more than help Sai Zahan recover the wisdom of the dragon guard. Because of your efforts, he finally has a way to combat this dragon invasion. Well, Sai should be along shortly. I've returned, and I bring the dragon horn. Come, let us speak. All right. Now that we have the horn of Jadari, our true work begins. As the saying goes, strike when the opportunity appears, or stand by and do nothing. I can never do nothing. And the Horn of Jadari is an opportunity? Most certainly. You saw how it knocked Veloxen out of the sky, granting us a significant advantage in battle. If it's as indestructible as the journal says, it will prove invaluable in the battles to come. I just wish we knew the Horn's origin. Does the origin of the Dragonhorn really matter? Veloxen implied that the Dragonhorn was willingly given by another of its kind. But what manner of dragon would give away its own horn? And for what purpose? Well, perhaps things will become clearer with more study. I really do agree, though. I don't understand. What's your next move, Sai? I must train with the dragon horn and prepare for what lies ahead. And so must you, warrior. When the time comes, I will call for your aid. Together, we shall fight back against the dragons and drive them from elsewhere. This, I swear to you. All right, guys. When the dragon god dies, we say a prayer. May your flame burn eternal. It's a promise to honor them, a desire for their legacy to live on, and it's an oath that we uphold to never forget those who came before. An oath I will always honor. So after you train with the Dragonhorn, what happens next? Reports tell me that the dragons have moved into southern elsewhere, ravaging towns and villages along the way. That is where I will go. And I'll send for you when I get there. Just the two of us? Will that be enough to turn the tide of the dragons? We won't be alone. We'll rally others to our cause. Those willing to take up the mantle of the dragon hunters of old. It will be glorious. We still have so much to learn, though. So much to do to reignite the dragon guard. Have you spoken with the other companions lately? I've been far too busy. Between helping rebuild the abbey and finding a way to fight the dragon invasion and elsewhere, there's been little time to socialize. So you haven't spoken to anyone, not even Lyris? <sighs> I'm not certain where Lyris is, truth be told. Kasura told me that she visited the Abbey, but departed soon after. And as I said, I have been quite busy. I do plan to find her eventually. If only to make sure she's doing well. Aww. Alright, guys. I guess we had the dragon horn, and it's time to visit southern elsewhere but that's definitely an adventure for next time 
Thank you for joining me, and I really hope you come to Southern Elsewhere with me. Bye for now.